Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Advani from learn-innovation.com. So guys, in the last video, we discussed about the page object class, which is available in Serenity framework. Now, when we start working with page object, you will also deal with web element facade. Again, it's completely optional. If you don't want to use it, you can still work with web element. But in case if you want to get some extra benefit of this particular framework, you should explore this web element facade as well. So what exactly is web element facade? Let me explain you through code. Okay, so in the last session, we extended the page object, right? Now, this was the first script that we created with uh, in our previous videos, right? Now, let me create some different script and let's use this web element facade. And you can also work with web element directly. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to use this particular application, which is Orange HRM. Again, guys, it's up to you. If you don't want to use this application, take any application of your choice because concept is going to be same. So let's say I want to do the login operation or any basic operation on this web page. So let's say I want to first of all. Let's say I inspect this particular page and I want to inspect this particular text box so this has an id called text username it has a uh, name attribute and the type attribute so let me first of all copy paste this application url here and let me also change okay let me remove this code or uh, what i can do i can create a separate script so that you will have both the test cases and i will say this is login test scenario okay and uh, now I can I can make the changes in this particular script so first of all I'm going to override the application URL and this time I'm not going to use driver.find element the moment you start working with page object the moment you extend the page object class you need to use you can use a dollar symbol here okay and in brackets you can write the locator of your choice I will repeat again you just need to put dollar you don't need to say driver dot find element all this stuff and buy dot ID so this was the earlier approach we used to do like driver dot find element by ID and we used to get web element and we used to do this but this now you can replace with a dollar symbol the moment is a dollar it will automatically understand that you are trying to find element but you need to also provide the locator let's say I want to work with locator so the moment you give any ID okay let's say the ID name is text username so text username you can pass so what exactly it is going to return so it is going to return you a separate interface called web element facade it is coming from Serenity BDD core pages so you can store this let's say as a username now you should ask a question what is the difference between web element and web element facade so let me open this particular interface first of all so it's also interface and the main thing is it also extends a web element it means whatever thing you have done so far with web element still you can do the same thing with web element facade plus it also extend different classes can you see this so it also extend the multiple interfaces not the classes and all these methods are implemented okay so you will see a different set of methods like set window focus select deselect so these are the options which you used to get with select class right wait until enable wait until clickable wait until disabled and uh, just a second type and tab type and enter so these are the things which was not present in web element but since this particular interface extend all the different uh, interfaces okay so you will get multiple set of methods now so let me show you let's say i want to do username now the moment i say dot i'm getting all the options right can you see this the list is too long because now we have multiple methods now we don't need to you know implement explicit weight and all directly they have given a method should be enabled should be present should be visible 
it means until and unless this particular condition is not true it is going to wait okay and same thing you can do here should not be enabled should not be present should not be visible so now you can see these methods are coming directly from select class right we used to create object of select class then we used to call this method these methods are directly present here okay so get value has focus is clickable is currently enabled all these additional methods comes along with your web element facade so let's say uh, i'm going to take one method from web element facade and i will show you how it works so let's say i want to type now if you go with uh, normal web elements you will get send keys right which was the traditional method and now if you go with web element facade you will get three different methods one is type which is exactly how send keys works but the moment you work with type and enter so what it does it will do some type operation and then it will press enter from the keyboard now we have another method called type and tap the moment let's say you want to move to the next web element so this will do the send keys then it will also perform a tab operation so i will use this so let me just first of all type something let's say this was my username and now let me enter the password as well okay so this time i will use name so in spite of storing all this this i only did just to show you how this web element facade works but in case if you want to work directly you can say dollar again whatever locator you want to use let's say i want to use name okay by i am taking directly from selenium and uh, i will be using name locator in double quotes provide the name and now i will say type and enter now why i'm doing enter because the moment i enter the password the moment i hit enter it should log in right so i don't need to click on the login button if i do the press if i press enter from the keyboard that also should be fine so same thing I'm doing here, I'm entering username, I'm entering password and I'm calling one method called type and enter. Now if you right click run this test and let's observe the behavior. So it is going to take few seconds, it is going to launch Chrome because in our properties file we have Chrome and it will launch okay so this is the application it was running somewhat here so i could not focus much so let's run it again and see the behavior right click run as junit test and uh, yeah here is the session so it will log in admin and you can see after the password it is doing enter action from the keyboard and it is able to log in because this element or uh, this method is coming from web element facade so this is just one method but we have multiple methods from web element facade that you can use for your project okay the one thing which i like about web element facade is the explicit weight conditions which comes along with it right the moment it should be because the most of the time the problem is either element is not visible or it is not clickable right so they have clearly renamed this method it should be visible so until and unless it is not visible it is not going to move to the next statement so once it is you know uh, visible then only you can do the operation so it returns void as of now okay so before calling a particular event you can call this method should be visible then only do the operation okay and in case if you want to see from where it is coming how many classes are implementing so right now this is coming from web element uh, state okay and this interface is also extended by web element facade okay so if you go here you can see this right so the classes which implement web element facade it has to implement all the interfaces which is listed here okay so not only for uh, ui which is web ui it will be applicable for android as well so you can see see uh, android ui automator finds by accessibility id 
this all you can directly use for iOS and Android as well. Okay, so go ahead and explore this web element facade in case if you want to use this, otherwise you can continue with web element as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, then hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.